This week I've gotten a few requests how we can use external signals to create buy or sell signals in MetaTrader. Right now our buy signal is don't buy it now and we have no open positions. And this is a simple text file. It is located in the users path in Windows. So that path here might be a little bit different depending on your name and your operating system, but it should be below MetaQuotes Terminal Common Files. Right now it contains the sentence don't buy it now. So let's see what happens if I remove the don't and save the file. Immediately a new buy trade appears. So now we have opened a new position by using an external text file and in this little video we are going to find out how to do that. In your MetaTrader please click on the little button here or press the F4 key and in MetaTrader you want to click on File, New, Expert Advisor from Template, Continue, I will call it Simple External Signal and Finish and now you can remove everything above the on tick function and the two command lines here. And to open a trade, the first thing we need is to import the trade MQH file by using the include function. And now we want to create an instance that will have the name trade. And inside the on tick function, the first thing we do is to get the ask price by using symbol info double for the current symbol. We use the constant simple underline ask because we need the ask price. And with normalize double and underline digits, we make sure that we have the right number of digits behind the dot because there are some currency pairs that have only three digits and others have five. So let's tell MQL5 actually which file we are going to use. Remember, this is the path where my files are located. In your case, it might be a little bit different depending on your operating system and your name. This is the file handle. It's an integer value. And we use file open. For the file with the name signal.txt, we use file underline read because we only want to read what's in the file. File underline ANSI means it's a file that is containing strings of ANSI type. ANSI is only using one byte. You could, for example, also use file Unicode. That would be used for two byte symbols. So if you see any weird characters on your screen, the reason might be the wrong encoding here. And file underline common is used. For the file path in the common folder of all client terminals, it ends with terminal common files, like in this case. This pipe character here is used as a delimiter that is used to separate the different items in a txt file or in a comma separated file. And cp underline acp means we are currently using the current Windows ANSI code page. Now that our file is defined, we use file read string for the external file we have created here to read out a buy signal. It will be a text string and afterwards we close the file. That is done by using the command file close for our external file. And if no open positions exist and a buy signal occurs, that would mean positions total equals zero. And the text in our file is buy it now. Well, in that case, we want to open a buy position by using trade.buy for 10 micro lots on the current chart for the current ask price. We have no stop loss defined. Our take profit is 100 points above the current ask price and we don't need a command here. So we use null for the last parameter. The last step is to create a chart output by using the command function. It will show us the current buy signal. That is the text that is contained in our file. 
followed by the text positions total and the value we have calculated for positions total. And if everything is okay, please click on the compile button. And if you don't have any errors or any warnings, click on the little button here or press F4 to go back to MetaTrader. Now in MetaTrader, please click on View, Strategy Tester or press Ctrl and R. And here you need to select the file simpleexternalsignal.ex5, enable the visualization and start a test. Now our little expert advisor is running and you see the buy signal right now is don't buy it now. The number of open positions is zero. So let's change the text file here. Click on file save and immediately a new trade is opened here. And if you speed up the process you will see that new trades are opened and closed. But if the external condition is no longer true or if I change the file content manually and save it the buy signal will change to stop buying or whatever is in the text file. Let's save that again. And now it says buy signal is stop buying or whatever is in the text file. Okay, now you know how you can create an expert advisor that can read external txt files. Actually you could also use Excel files or whatever to use external signals and you have coded it yourself with a few lines of MQL5 code.